Hello and welcome to today's MSAB Monday. I'm Adam Furman, Tech Evangelist here at MSAB. Today, we're looking at a function within XRY, which is the ability to read a coder file. Now, why would you want to read a coder file? For example, an uh, app may not have been supported at the time of the extraction, which now is, which will make your life easier. Now, what we do here at MSAB is we do not read a code files every time. So if you complete an extraction with version 10, you then share that file with a defense team, for example, you're both going to be looking at exactly the same data. There is no reader code and taking place. However, we still like to give you that choice. So when you click a file, which is an XRY file, you get the choice. Do you want to just view and analyze the data, or do you want to open it in XRY? Once you've opened it in XRY, you can then tick the file and you can choose to decode. Before we do that, let's quickly have a look at the examined file of the original reader code. So we can see here it was a Samsung S21, and if we look at all artifacts, we've got a count of 45,000. Now this was decoded in version 9.5 of XRY. Let us now start the reader code and we'll return to it when it's completed in examine. And we return to XRY with the file now redecoded in version 10.5.1. So if we jump back into examine now and look at the new version, you can see that we do in fact have less artifacts now. And we can check to see what version this was redecoded in. So the original one was 9.4 and we've now redecoded in 10.5.1. Now the reason for the change in numbers is it could be for duplication or system files that are not relevant. This just goes to highlight how important it is not to read the code files if you're sharing them with defense teams, because this is just going to pose questions of why they're viewing different data to what you are and what are you potentially hiding. We hope that you've enjoyed today's MSAB Monday and can see the power of reading coding and when not to.